Many European countries, upon hearing of the great natural resources and wide open spaces of North America, wanted to claim it for themselves. Some wanted to spread Christianity to the New World. Many were eager to gain fame and glory by finding gold and silver. Kings and queens and the rich paid for ships, captains, and crewmen to sail to North and South America and explore this new land. Here are a few who made this dangerous journey. Spaniard Sebastian de Ocampo is credited with the first European discovery of the Gulf of Mexico in 1508. Juan Ponce de Leon, also from Spain, led the first European expedition to Florida in 1513. He named Florida and looked for the Fountain of Youth, which he never found. Giovanni da Verrazzano was an Italian who sailed for the French king. He explored the Atlantic coast between Florida and New Brunswick in 1524. Panfilo de Narvaez was given permission by the Spanish king to explore Florida with five ships and 600 men, which he did in 1527. After many troubles on his journey, he and a small group of men were carried out to sea on a raft and never seen again. Alvar Nunez Cabeza de Vaca traveled for eight years across the United States Southwest. He became friendly with Native American tribes and eventually reconnected with Spanish soldiers in 1536. In 1539, Hernando de Soto led the first European expedition deep into what is now the southern United States. It's believed he was the first European to have crossed the Mississippi River. De Soto was looking for gold, silver, and a passage to China, none of which he found. He died of a fever on the banks of the Mississippi in 1542. In 1540, Francisco Vasquez de Coronado led a large expedition from Mexico to what we now know as Kansas and through parts of the southwestern U.S. He can claim his European expedition as being the first to see the Grand Canyon and the Colorado River. In 1542, Juan Rodriguez Cabrillo, who was a Portuguese explorer, was the first European to travel the coast of California. Dutch explorer Adrian Bloch is best known for exploring the coast and river valleys of present-day New Jersey and Massachusetts between 1611 and 1614. Canadian French explorer Louis Jolet was the first non-Native American to explore and map the Mississippi River in 1673. René Robert Cavalier, Sueur de la Salle, was a Frenchman who explored the Great Lakes, Canada, the Mississippi River, and the Gulf of Mexico in 1682. Through all these men and their discoveries of the New World, Europe began to gain a better understanding of the beauties and mysteries of North America.